All right, welcome back to our historic popper league match. Um, I think this is week four of our league match. Um, basically, you just play one one match a week. It's really nice. Set up a time with your opponent. Ooh, this is really really close. If this was just a mount or if this was a force, this would be really nice. I could foretell on turn two, and I am on the draw. Huh. I think I have to mulligan. Just be disciplined. Okay, I'll take it. Not the best, but um, you know, we'll we'll take it. Let's see. I want to keep my fetch lands and yeah. Ooh, let's take a look at this. Sacred cat. Interesting. Um, I think double green is more worth it. I mean, I'm going to be able to find a mountain with this one, so it's not a big deal with it, which, uh, which I take here. Ooh, interesting. So this looks like some kind of, uh, Boros, uh, synth from, um, Paper Popper. Vintage Popper. Uh, so I'm, I'm taking damage here. Patriarch's Humiliation. Okay, so this is the new white removal spell in Baldur's Gate. Yeah, my opponent's getting in there. Alright, so let's Reckless Impulse. We don't have any other plays. Um, okay. So next turn we'll be able to Trumpeting Herd. But that Bone Splitter is doing a ton of work. And I'm taking 6 damage here. At least, um, if he might have another bone splitter. Yeah. Ooh, a sky fisher. Interesting. All right, so we played our elephants, and he has another patriarchs, and I think that's going to be game. Yep, there it is. All right, GGs, mono white aggro with um, with uh, it, it looks like he's not playing red. Okay, so what what do we have against that? Um, let's take out our owl bear. I, I really don't like owl bear, unfortunately. Um, the meta is just really really fast, and you don't you don't have time for uh, five drops that often. I think I want social climber and bamboo grove archers. Yeah, because he had the core sky fisher, so I I think I want bamboo. Take magma spray. Let's take out. Cosmotronic Wave. So our, our Igneous Elementals are going to be a house in this matchup. Um, let's put in 7 Spinnerets. Uh, no, we don't need it. Um, we don't need Royal Eruption. 2 mana removal against his 1 drops, especially his cat that has Embalm, feels awful. I think we can shave on Ardent Elementalist. Put in a social climber. No, we'll, we'll just keep one elementalist. Yeah, this 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 looks pretty good. So our plan is going to be to survive and then take over the board with our elephants. Um, his bone splitter is going to get him a ton of value. So maybe I should have thought about putting in my. Um, that new Baldur's Gate uh, green card that gives you a naturalize or a plummet. Yeah, maybe I should have put that in. I probably could have shaved like a packmate, Cyril's packmate. Alright, so let's get on the play. Um, we have a removal and an explore. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds really good.
sacred cat. I think um I think I do frostbite this. You know, just trade our, make sure we're trading on mana at the moment. Let's get a redraw in. Ooh, we're drawing a ton of lands, which is unfortunate. So best draw is probably Trumpeting Herd. Trumpeting Herd on turn three is pretty nice, of course. It's basically the, the backbone of this deck, right? <laughs> I expect my opponent has um, the new one one white uh, shield uh, combat trick as protection. Um, he doesn't look like he's playing that many enchantments. Although we did see that um, we did see one of the first strike enchantments. So maybe he is playing uh, the blessing, Terametra's blessing. All right, so we didn't draw a four drop, but we did draw Bamboo Grove Archer, which is amazing. Do we Reckless Impulse here? Or do we play our tap land? I think I want to play my tap land here. And the reason is I just want to get a little bit more mana before I impulse. I want to be able to play my uh, card advantage. Oh, I probably should have thought about taking a mountain here since I have two forests in hand. But it's all right. We can uh, we can bluff having a frostbite. And bomb. Yeah, that's fine. Interesting. So it looks like this is a Karametra's Blessing. Just trade two for one. Oh, wow. He just Patriarch's Humiliation. Interesting. All right, I drew the pack mate, so I'll play it. That's a pretty good draw. Um, oh, and an even better draw here. Oh my goodness, he has another Patriarch's Humiliation. Yeah, my opponent's getting in there. Okay. Yeah, I'm punished for not getting a red here. Alright, so we have to play this. Um, let's kill his cat. Yep. Punished for not getting a mountain, unfortunately. Um, I mean, he can't have that, min that much more removal, right? He's already played two. Um, we could, we could impulse into, like, a pack mate, we could impulse into a trumpeting herd. That would probably slam the door unless he draws his bone splitter. We have a frostbite for his core skyfisher, which is pretty notable. I, I wonder if he's playing search party captain. Oh, perfect. Look at that trumpeting herd. So here, do I play impulse? Do I play impulse or do I just play trumpeting herd? Hold up frostbite. I think I'd go for the card advantage here. He He's weak at the moment because he's not killing or my elemental. So I, I feel this is a good play. So here we'll just take our card advantage. Next turn we have double trumpeting herd. We'll be able to start attacking then. So we, we've managed to gum up the ground, which is why I 
I uh, went for the card advantage line. And oh wow, look at this. 3-3 three, three flyer. Alright, so I think I'm going to lead with Visionary. But I'm probably playing Frostbite and Trumpeting Herd here. Yeah, yeah. So let's Frostbite his flyer. And get in with our 4-3. If this trades for like two, three creatures, I'm I'm all for it. It's gonna make his next patriarch simulation much worse. Yeah. That's pretty good for me, I think. And we have the elephants to follow up. Alright, so we're gonna bluff another frostbite. Yeah, you got it. So my opponent's still stuck on two lands as well. And alright, he packs it up. So we managed to survive, and then we took advantage of our uh, creatures just being slightly bigger. Alright, so on the draw, do I want... You line up the shot. And you know what? I'm seeing more flyers from him. I think this is actually much better. Um, I think I want sudden spinnerets too, actually. You know, seeing seeing all those um flyers and like it'll it'll, it'll be like a sort of pseudo hex proof against his patriarch humiliation. That sounds pretty good. Um I can probably drop a packmate. Or is it young red? Dragon. I, I don't really want to drop the dragon because it's flying, but it is a little bit dorky. Maybe it's a land war visionary. What if I cut the visionaries for social climber? Two social climbers that might keep me alive. All right, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this. We're uh, we're exploring the meta together, guys. <laughs> and let's take a look. Yeah, we have both our colors. We have Narcomancer into Packmate. We even have the Grove and the Frostbite. This looks like a perfect hand. This this hand is really, um, I think, um, represents what uh, what my deck is trying to do. Ooh, he's gonna have to bounce his own land. That's pretty bad. Um, so I, I can't frostbite here because I don't have three lands in play. Three snow lands. Three snow permanents. <laughs> Alright, so here I decided to play a Narcomancer. It's going to be really bad if he has the Patriot Simulation now. Oh, it looks like he does have it. Alright. Alright. A, a little bit bad. Not not the worst. Um, ooh, do I just play Social Climber? Or do I play Grove Archer? Interesting. So I'll, I'll be able to hold up Frostbite, but not Sudden Spinnerets. Having only one green is a little bit awkward here. I think the choice is Bamboo Grove Archer with Frostbite. And then I can use Sudden Spinnerets to protect my Social Climber. And that's just going to get me just some incidental life gain to stay alive against this aggro. Oh yeah, so my opponent can't attack into this. So here I'm pretty, I, I feel pretty safe to uh, play Social Climber, hold up Frostbite again. The Raven is fine. So does he have the 
patriarch simulation here. He has three creatures. I can respond with the frostbite though, so that's pretty risky for my opponent. Okay, it looks like he's passing. Ooh, another green source is amazing. Um, okay, what do I want to play here? I think I want to play Pac-Mate and hold up Spinnerets. Or do I want to play Dragon and hold up Spinnerets? I can play Dragon, hold up Frostbite. I think I want to hold up Spinnerets because he has three mana open. Um, what if I play Dragon, hold up Spinnerets? Yeah, Let, let's do that. All right. So this is the this is the sort of uh, question I'm putting to my opponent: is Does he want to trade his core Sky Fisher for my Dragon? And then next turn, um, I'll actually be able to frostbite his Skyfisher and start attacking in the air. Oh, interesting. Reprobation. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, so here's a weakness of playing Dragon this turn. Um, the 3-1 the body on the Dragon is just really awful. I can't even block these 1-2s. Um, so here, I think I Sudden Spinnerets. No, no, no. I, I want Spinnerets on something else. I'll, I'll block like this. I'll trade off my Dragon for his Skyfisher. That's fine. So presumably, ooh, interesting. All right, so that's fine. Two, three, so that trades. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to, do I want to keep my dragon or do I want to keep my social climber? Um, I think the answer is I keep my social climber. Okay, so let's draw with pack me. And then frostbite his sky fisher while he has nothing. All right. Notably, this fetch land turns or makes our igneous elemental cheaper. Let's get a forest here. So we're we're pretty all set. Um, I I think we have a commanding advantage now, but it's not over for sure. Daybreak chimera is really good. Yep. Okay, so here I don't think I offer my social climber just yet. Five damage, okay, that's fine. Um, all right, here's Igneous Elemental. Let's uh, kill him. Gain some life. We can bluff having another frostbite. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll take the three damage. Right now we're out racing my opponent. Ooh, Skyfisher for Seppi. 
Oh, he didn't. I think that was a mistake. Oh, okay. I see. I see. My opponent wanted to get Seraph with the Dawn here. All right. So I could get back a Frostbite. I could get back a Sudden Spinner Rats. Do I offer this trade? I, I think I attack with Igneous Elemental, right? He, he's not going to trade his Lifelinker? Yeah. But here I have Ardent Elementalist to get back Sudden Spinnerets. He has 7 power with 2 Lifelink. I think I can outrace that, right? 7, I go down to 11, he goes up to 15, I attack for 9, he goes up to 17, yeah. At the moment, I, I do outrace that, even without sudden spinnerets. Especially with a reach creature, I can block. Interesting. So this means he's bluffing Patriarch's humiliation. He's only played one so far. What if I just take it? I don't think so. If he has it, he has it here, I think. Uh, let's not block with Social Climber. What does he have here? Shelter. Okay. Interesting. Into a Thraben. Okay, we're just going to play our Trumping Herd. Um, this is a little bit awkward. We don't have anything to protect against a, a white removal spell from my opponent. We need to draw another like Bamboo Grove Archer, something like that. My opponent has gone a little bit bigger than I expected. Um, so maybe Cosmetronic Wave is uh, is what we want here. But unfortunately, that's in our sideboard. Ooh, interesting. And he doesn't attack. Interesting. That 3-5 is really strong, though. Yeah. So we're, we're looking for a Bamboo Grove Archer, huh? Alright, so let's pass. I, I am playing lands, because I, I do want to, like, sort of chain Reckless Impulses into Reckless Impulse. That would be really nice. And that means as mu having as much mana as possible. I mean, I don't think holding two cards in hand means anything at this point. Like, he he knows I haven't played anything. Um, you know, we're both living off the top of our deck. I don't have any way... Oh, no, I could get a Naturalize. Um, interesting. I think I have to take this damage, unfortunately. Yeah, my opponent's found a chink in my armor. I could find a naturalize, get rid of this reprobation. I could get rid of the sentinel's eyes. Ooh, core skyfisher. So I wonder if he takes back his step. Yeah, this time he'll take back his step to cycle. Yeah. 
Yeah. So all, way back, um, all those turns back, playing that young dragon out is quite bad. Because it means I have my reach counter on a 3-2 instead of a 3-3. Three, three. Interesting. Ooh, that's quite good. Yeah, that's quite good. So let's play this. We'll kill his Seraph. And we'll be able to start attacking with our elephants. I'm taking pretty much any trade here. Obviously, trading for his Rafine's informant isn't great, but... Huh, interesting. I wonder why he didn't take the trade with his Rafine's informant. I mean, it, it's not doing much, right? Because I have a 2-1 and two chump blockers as well. Okay, so he wanted the Alpha Strike back. Um, Alright, so we'll take our trade. Oh, is this you hear something on watch? It looks like it. It, it looks like you hear something on watch. Um, three, six, eight, nine. Sorry, three, six, eight plus three is eleven. Oh, so this is, you hear something on watch? That's the case. What if I double chump like this? I have 11 damage going back, so I'll need to find something. And, and he has a Vigilant Skyfisher. Okay, so I, I need to chain a Reckless Impulse here. Oh, he, it looks like he's holding it for my attackers. Yeah. Unfortunately, because I had to chump block, he wasn't forced to use his, his trick. Which is just goes to show you the power of you hear something on watch. And yeah, look at this. I, I think I'm dead here. He has three flyers. I only have one reach creature. Um, yeah. So going back to that turn, the young red dragon just just so mediocre, the body. 3-1 body is just so mediocre. Alright, I think this is a good game. We're dead on board. Um, I mean, I, I guess I have to... I'm obligated to attack. But this is only 11 damage, so... Yeah. Yeah, so he did have the trick right there. And I am dead. Alright, mono white aggro getting it done with the flyers. GG's.